guys, welcome back to another wonderful episode of the Arsenio ZSL Podcast, man. Today is a super special one. You know, just this morning, and I'm so grateful, Thais, her obviously being a Brazilian nurse living in America, man, I am just so amazed in regards to how much she has developed. And these essays that she just wrote, these two integrated essays, The Roman Empire and Glass and Birds, are so phenomenal that I told her, you will get a 28, maybe even a 29, depending on what type of examiners you got and what type of scorers you have, because this is just too good. And I'm so grateful that I'm going to be bringing this to you guys today because, man, this is what I pride my life on, seeing the absolute surge in how much development a lot of my students have had And being able to, you know, uh, deliver and, you know, do this content to give to you guys. And, you know, me having a ridiculous number of students now where I have to, like, dedicate my time to a lot of different things. And I'm going to have to hurry up and buy a new MacBook Pro because my computer is getting too slow. And I'm going to have to hurry up and buy the new iPhone 13 because my iPhone 6, which I bought like six years ago, is a complete waste of time. And I'm going to have to continue like developing my from my own end so I can continue delivering such phenomenal quality content, you know, uh, or prolific quality, you know, content. So I'm so, so grateful for this type of, um, for these types of SAC. I'm so grateful for the growth to see what is happening, you know, on the, on that side of, you know, my student's perspective and seeing them end up becoming a nurse and becoming you know, uh, a dentist and a pharmacist and all these different things. This is only the beginning. And I'm going to be even more excited when I give you guys that message back saying that, yes, Thais and Andrea and Gonzalo, they all got their 26s. I'm waiting for Matthias right now. Kato's coming. Sabi's coming. Um, you know, um, there's another Indian girl. We have Khalil that's going to be coming. We have another Kuwana that's going to be. Oh, my God. There's just so much. And I'm just so grateful for the process nonetheless. So in saying that, guys, Enjoy this beautiful, beautiful, wonderful episode that I got for you. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. And make sure you follow me on my ESL podcast page, Arsenio's ESL podcast on Instagram. Hello there, Ty East. Here we go. Let's go over some of these essays today. That's right, baby, man. We are, well, I am excited to be going over this just because I'm getting myself uh, uh, back in the flow of everything. Now, I don't know why this entire integrated essay, what is it, the essay is completely green. It's because Google Doc is just terrible. But nonetheless, if we hurry up and check this one out, the Roman Empire, we're going to do two of them today. We have the Roman Empire. And we have glass birds. Now, you see already that there are a couple of corrections, okay? But nonetheless, man, I am beyond excited to review these because I feel that you understand, okay? So, again, with less than one week to go, you're going to be kicking ass on this exam. So, here we go. Let's check this out. (sighs) The first introductory paragraph. The reading and listening are both about the Roman Empire, period. The passage suggests that the Roman Empire had a great foundation in order to build a strong civilization, comma, such as, colon, great economy or a great economy, a large territory, and the most effective military and political forces, period. However, comma, the lecturer doubts why they became so powerful, comma, opposing their areas of success with three reasons, okay? With three reasons. Now, again, I don't know. Oh, no. Did I just delete it? I totally just deleted it. Okay, my bad. It just completely disappeared. But if you go over a couple of those corrections, okay, you probably have to go back just a little bit to check out those corrections. But that was a good essay. Now, you talked about the things you had very good complex uh, structures, obviously, the such as along with the colon, just making sure that we follow a similar parallel structure, although you did. We would have to put an article, a political party, of this and of this, right? But nonetheless, then you had the contrast. However, he opposes this with several reasons, with, not for, okay? Now, I'm going to make sure Google doesn't just completely drop the ball like it always does, because this is just such a laggy-ass document, and it's just laggy as hell. It could be my computer. But nonetheless, I'm really, really excited about this one because now that we have the introduction down, all of this is going to be really easy. So remember the 40-60 rule. Haven't looked at it just yet, but let's look at this. So firstly, the author states that the first reason, not reasons, okay, because you put the, 
the first reason they were powerful, okay, the first reason they had become powerful, let's just put it that way, uh, or the first, oh man, this the author states that the reason behind they became, uh, the, the reason behind them becoming powerful. There we go. Okay. Nonetheless, you wrote it down. You said that the first reason they were powerful is because it's all right. But at the same time, I know we can make it just slightly better, but I'm just going to leave it there. Okay. They had professional soldiers occupying the lands outside the country, period. They were captives forced to serve, not serving, but to serve in the army and also soldiers of the Imperial Roman army. Period. This specific argument is challenged with a D, okay, past participle by the lecturer, period. He claims that they had a large military force, but, and I forgot to put comma, but Google Doc really sucks, but their force was superficially strong, okay? Now, we don't have to add a comma here, okay? Let's just get rid of that comma splice, because not only of them were Roman, not all of them, there we go, not all of them is what you're saying is what you're trying to say. Okay, not all of them were Romans, period. As a result, comma, their army was in danger because some of the soldiers were the same race as their enemies, comma, opening, very good with the opening, Jaren, opening the chance to them, no, for them, okay? So I see, you know, with the with and the for, that preposition could throw you off a little bit for them to threaten the Roman army. That's good, okay? So what, that's like a 35-75 rule? Very good. Okay. This specific argument mode, that's probably like a 30 to 70, but nonetheless, you put in a lot in regards to what you had heard in the notes that you had taken down. That was a phenomenal paragraph. Okay. You see just a couple of things. Okay. To serve. You had some really good gerunds. Just let's you toggle the, the opening sentence, put a comma before, but now of course, Google doc doesn't know much about English. So I had to hurry up and, uh, you know, fix that, but to threaten, also, that's like a passive gerund. Fantastic. Okay. I love it. So let's go into the next paragraph. Secondly, okay, according to the reading, all right, the monarchs had all the power, period. The emperor has authority or had the authority to make several decisions in all areas of society. Okay. Don't worry about the apostrophe S. It's all broken there. Period. In contrast, comma, okay, the lecturer asserts that the real source of the empire's power was the military force, period. He notes that once an emperor died, comma, it led to a crisis, comma, a crucial, peri a, a, a crucial period of time. A crucial period of time. Okay, well, uh, honestly, that's grammatically correct, you know, and you used an appositive, so I'm not going to blame you. I'm not going to get mad at you. An you have very good sentence structures. I'm fucking loving this right now, okay? It took some time. You said it kept some time, but it took some time to stabilize the society again. And you, just like another one of my, uh, the, what is it, Matthias, the Chilean, you guys have a tendency of putting a comma before because. Now, you will not do that only if, there is a conditional in the same clause of the because, all right? So make sure you never put a comma before the because. That is the second comma splice in this essay, just saying. The new emperor had to pay to ensure his loyalty. Nonetheless, man, oh yeah, I'm feeling real good. I'm feeling real, real good right now. Finally, comma the passage suggests that they became richer because of the high taxes. Also, they justified his, or I'm sorry, this saying, that they were using to maintain the military. That they were using, using what? Okay, but nonetheless, okay. In contrast, the lecturer's stance is that they increased the taxes because they could not afford more land. So the population had to pay higher taxes. But the ordinary people started to hate their rulers, comma, becoming resistant and leading to the beginning of the collapse of the society. <laughs> Hey, if I had to give you a score, that's 27. That could potentially be 28, depending on what type of examiner you got. But you're living out there in good old Boston, and I feel really comfortable with the examiners out there as opposed to potentially being in, you know, Sao Paulo or somewhere else in Brazil and you having to deal with the goddamn clown, right? Because some people, you know, like, uh, uh, again, it's kind of like IELTS real quick. Like, it's kind of like IELTS. Like, an IELTS band of 7.5 in India... Okay, let's say New Delhi or in um, Manila. 
is not necessarily a 7.5 here in Thailand because the bias that these British examiners have in IELTS towards the Thais is really, really nasty. There's no rubric that they follow. It's all based on personal preference and opinion, right? And so that's one of the difficult things. So I hear that there are some tested centers out there dependent, not even the tested centers. There are three examiners that actually grade your exam, okay? That's why you have my best score. Um, but I believe that you are going to do a great job and you're going to get a very good mark because in America, they know what the hell they're talking about. I'm not saying all of them do. Okay. I'm just saying some examiners do because I've seen this by the scores and comparing this essay with another student, uh, by the name of Islam who got a 27 on his exam. This is higher. This is absolutely higher, especially given the fact that your sentence structures are beyond phenomenal. Like, I and again, yes, okay, there's a couple of grammatical things you're going to be able to, you know, sort this all out. And I went over a couple of them. But you know, to be honest with you, I'm feeling unbelievably confident right now. So I don't know how long it took you. But let's go on to the next one. I'm going to hurry up and recolor this bad boy because okay, are you gonna? Oh, okay, there we go. That's all I had to do. Okay. So let's go into glass birds. So Roman Empire, man, I'm, I'm going eight, I'm going 28. Okay, now the independent essay, I still got to go through with some grade in, and that could be a little bit of a hindrance. So I do believe you'll get 26, 27 overall. Uh, but, you know, that's still obviously much, much better than, um, you know, the, obviously your past scores and stuff like that. So I'm excited. You're doing phenomenal. Let's get into this last one. The reading and lecture are both about the glass impact on the bird's life. Okay, the author of the passage suggests some solutions to avoid birds injuries the lecturer okay and then we could combine that sentence if you would like to however the lecturer disputes the claims made in the article for three reasons okay all right so in saying that not bad all right so let's go into the next paragraph first of all the article suggests a replacement comma instead of using clear glass comma it can be replaced by a a one-way glass which is transparent in only one direction all right, so I'm just going to hurry up and just stash a comma right there just to make sure that we understand that. This will form a solid barrier to the birds because they will not see inside the building, period. However, the lecturer opposes that idea because it does not make any sense, period. One glass is like a mirror and birds do not understand mirrors. It can reflect the sky or trees, comma, as a result, okay, as a result, I'm going to hurry up and put a comma, as a result, comma, they will make, they will think it is real, comma, making them fly through the glass window. That sounds terrible, right? No, not, no, that was a beautiful paragraph. That was all perfectly put together. That's exactly what I want. But Jesus, can you imagine like just like suicidal birds, like angry birds, boom, boom, flying through mirrors? It's a goddamn shame. All right, so let's go into the last one. Well, the second to last one. Secondly, comma, according to the reading, comma, colorful lines could be used to make a decorative pattern over the glass okay period so comma the birds will avoid trying to fly through the glass market with those stripes okay touche this specific argument is challenged by the lecturer period he claims that the birds will think that the windows are open rules period because of the stripes they will think because of the stripes comma okay we're going to use a modifier because of the stripes comma they will think that it is not a window comma it is just an open um, well, we could just compare this rather just an open space. Okay, rather just. So I'm just going to hurry up and put rather here. Open window, rather just an open space that they can fly through. Because if we use another subject verb after that comma, along with they can fly through again, boom, grammatical error. But nonetheless, I'm loving it. Oh, man, I'm so happy about this. Okay, finally, comma, the author posits that another solution could be using a magnetic field to guide birds away from buildings. In contrast to that, the lecturer affirms that this is true, that birds have a natural ability to sense Earth's magnetic fields, comma, but this can be used just when they are traveling long distances, uh, okay, or a long distance. So we're going to go long distances or a long distance, okay, such as when they are migrating, period. In addition, comma, during short trips, Okay, that's an adverbial time clause. During short trips, comma, they can be aware just of light or signals. They can be aware, uh, they can be aware just of, okay, let's just get just it. A, 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 they, can, they can be aware of light or signals only instead of using just. That wouldn't make much sense. 
that is a 28 29 I would be shocked if it's a 28. I believe that that's a 29. The law of averages is going to play unbelievably well. Whoa, I am so proud of you, Thais. This were, th these were two phenomenally written integrated tasks. This is exactly the, like, this is a dream for a TOEFL coach like me, for someone to do something like this. And this is gonna be the greatest representation with all the students coming on. You know, you got Sabi and you have Adneris, um, you, you know, Gonzalo, Andrea, Elena, all Margarita, all these people, okay, who are coming on. They're going to see this and they're going to do exactly what you did. And just know for the next two years, three years, four years, five years, however long this is going to be, people will always come back to this specific video to watch it, to understand the integrated tasks. Thank you so much for this amazing write-up and man, I'm going to go do your independent essay now. Over and out.